folks. This is Missouri. I got this back today from Colt Manufacturing. They've had it since January 27th of this year. Okay. Not loaded. Um, in case you haven't been watching my previous videos, it was sent back to Colt because the cylinder didn't always turn properly. I had misfires. The cylinder latch was hard to open. You can see it's not that hard anymore. The cylinder latch is a little bit, no, you probably can't see that, it's a little bit loose. Also, the rear sight was loose. It's still a little bit loose. I don't know if they did anything to that or not. There weren't any imperfections in it like there were some others with the, the crown. The crown of mine was always fine, it still is. Um, I don't know why they had mine so long. I know that Golden Webb had sent his in, got it back, was mad about it, sent it back in and got it back. Um, before I had to, I had to call like three times and they finally sent it to me and I got it today. They took it to the range and shot a hundred rounds through it. Uh, 357 and 38 special Hornady and Winchester. No problem, single action, no problem in double action. I didn't do a video shoot today because my GoPro that I had attached to my hat, which may cause some of the shakiness, some of you experts thought that I had shaky hands, um, and you could be right, I'm almost 70, so my hands might be a little bit shaky. As I told you before, in the other videos, I'm not Paul Harrell, I'm not Hickok 45, I've only been doing this a couple years, so I'm not an expert at this, I don't know every single vernacular uh, with guns and that sort of thing, um, and I'd probably get in trouble for doing this waving it around like that. Oh, I already showed you it was unloaded, so, like I said, I'm not Paul Harrell, and I'm not Hickok 45. Um, but you experts obviously know more about it than anybody else, so um, to those of you, um, to the rest of you, thanks for all the, the support. Anyway, I got it back. No glitches. Everything's cool with the gun. Um, I know you want to see, see shooting it, whether my hands are shaky or not. So the next time I go, I'll probably take the um, GoPro, attach it to my head, or maybe I'll figure out some other place to go in case it's not the GoPro that's shaky. Um, maybe I'll get a little tripod or something. Anyway, um, as for now, I'm happy with it and hope it stays that way. And that's all I got to say about this. And to all you experts i'd like to see you put something on your channel oh that's right most of you only have um nothing on your video channels do you so that's all i got to say